Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Team Shift. Today we're going to go over some kind of basic troubleshooting stuff with the iPad that you may notice from time to time. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and get into self-service and get ourselves an app. Um, so we're going to say I need Dropbox. So we all know kind of how to do this. These are the school kind of paid and free apps that we just have in there ready to go. Uh, so I can just grab this and hit Dropbox and install in a second. It should prompt me for the password. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. By the way, if you double tap the capital button, it will stay uh, capital until you uh, press it again. So I don't have to type it each and every time, which is kind of nice. Um, so let me just go ahead and put the password in here. Yep, thought I did it incorrectly. Excellent. Let's try it again. Okay, and now it's going to go ahead and install Dropbox for me. So let me get out of here and uh, Dropbox is installing which is great. Now sometimes you will get uh, this little thing right here where it says pause and I just, I just kind of paused it so I could show you what that looks like uh, where the icon is grayed out and nothing's really happening. Um, there's a couple different things you can do there when that's happening. One, tap it because it may just be paused and that'll uh, make it start and stop again. It might just need that kind of refresh. Uh, if the app still is grayed out and uh, starting and stopping it by again tapping it is not doing the trick. Uh, then you can just highlight it and delete the actual application itself and then just go ahead and re-download it. That usually works pretty well. Uh, so you'd be able to go back into self-service and then just re-download Dropbox and then it'll likely work that time. Um, if that does not work, uh, what you can try to do is just restart the iPad. How to restart the iPad if you just hold the uh, top sleep button, which is the only button at the top of the iPad to the right. Uh, hold that down and you'll get the slide to power off thing. You just go ahead and slide it off, turn it on. The app may not even be there anymore when you turn it back on, letting you re-download it. Just some funky glitchy stuff that can happen. But usually just tapping it a couple times, you're good to go. Evernote's going to load up for me and that'll be that. Any questions about any of the iPad stuff or just some other troubleshooting tips you'd like to see, something weird you've seen, go ahead and send us an email at tech at sch.org. Everyone have a great day.